Okay, let's see how easy it is to install a Pixel Cheese screen. All right, so we have um, a uh, netbook here, and we'll open it up, and here's the regular screen. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove these screw covers. Now they're on with uh, some adhesive, so uh, what I like to do is I'll use a, a small flathead screwdriver. Uh, if you're if you're afraid of uh, scratching it, I would uh, you can uh, use a, a sponger or any other um, kind of tool to just get in there and kind of pop it off. And then you have um, two screws here and here, and those are just uh, well, depending on the netbook that you have, um, they're just small screws really easy to just pop the front bezel off. Now um, you can stick your fingernail in here, you can use a um, sponger or a guitar pick. Um, it's just really easy to kind of pop these things off. That's it. We're going to unscrew it from the back bezel. There's one, two, three, four screws. And let me just do that really quick. Okay. Um, so right now, it's a good idea to be very careful and just take a peek behind the panel and see right here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, the uh, camera cable is just attached to the screen with a little bit of tape. And just make sure that we're clear. Uh, you'll notice that these wires down here are taped. Um, again, you can use that towel to prop it up. Okay, once you have it at this stage, um, it's, it's fairly simple. You just remove the hinge, uh, remove the screen from the hinge. Um, and do that. And once you have it removed, it's a good idea. You can, you can prop the, uh, the screen onto a towel. And this connector off. We'll disconnect the screen. There's a little 40 pin connector. You just pop it off and tape it. And there you go. Now this bit here that's your screen. That's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, so what we do next is we grab our Pixel Cheese screen, which you can get at makershed.com. And it comes in nice, uh, nicely wrapped in bubble wrap. And Pull it out of the bag. It looks very similar to the screen we just removed. See? Old screen, new screen. Okay, so um, it's a good idea to, um, as you're putting this on, to keep the uh, little piece of plastic to include. Try to keep that on there for uh, as long as you can. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace that screen with the Pixel T screen. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it down on that towel. And we'll take this 40-pin connector. And, you know, you can remove this, uh, this tape here for the time being. That's just uh, it easily comes off. Well, Okay, so that is 
side. And um, what you can do is you can take this 40 pin connector and it's kind of teeny but it's pretty, uh, pretty easy to get it in there. Just pull it in place, put the tape down and replace the thermal tape. And you should be good to go. Let's get this thing back in there. It's a good idea when you're replacing screws to not tighten them down all the way, don't torque them. Just lightly seat everything and then go back and tighten it up just hand tight. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to slowly set the screen and hinge back into the back bezel. And uh, they usually have little plastic tabs to align everything. And then we just replace those screws. At this point, make sure that they're all tightened, just hand tight, not too tight. And we have the screen and the back bezel. At this point, you can power the unit on, test it out. Hey, all right, looks like it works. So, at this point, we want to get the front bezel on, and we do that by just getting it in place. It snaps right back in place. Just make sure everything lines up. Check to make sure there aren't any gaps. in place. Yep, okay. And then we finish it off by putting the screws back in place. And put back the screw covers. And there you go. One installed Pixel G screen. And there you have it. Ta-da! Okay. Um, we'll do some, some compatibility testing in a few moments. Um, but that's it.